Hey, everybody. I'm going to make a thank you card. Make sure I can see everything. Hi, Linda. How are you on this beautiful Halloween Saturday? Hope everything's going okay where you are. Um, this is the card we're going to make today. I was having a little bit of fun playing with some different designs. I So I love this. It turns out <laughs> I love this stamp set too. Do you know, I think I got it last year because this is in the annual catalog. I never opened it. But that's what we're going to play with today. So we're going to start with our Whisper White cardstock. Um, and we're gonna get some early espresso ink and this big stamp. Look at how big it is. It's huge. Um, what's everybody doing for Halloween? You know what I'm doing for Halloween? This is what I'm doing for Halloween right here. You got it. This is all I'm doing. I went into work, my real work job, you know, that pays for me to do this kind of stuff. Um, for a few hours this morning. Now we're going to stamp it up a little bit um, from the bottom because we're going to put um, a snow bank underneath there. So we're going to stamp this beautiful stamp in early espresso. We'll stamp it twice and try to keep it relatively even. I got that pretty even. Although it's not going to matter because we're going to cover it up. Horror movies. Oh, Linda. That is not a thing I do. I don't like to be scared. I don't watch horror movies. Oops. Go back. Not, not something I do. So now we have pumpkin pie. Ink. And we're going to stamp... Just a little bit offset from this one. Um, I'm going to try to go just a little bit up. A little bit offset. And we'll do it again. This really is a beautiful stamp. It is. Yeah, you're right. It is Halloween. But I don't like to be scared. Well, I don't have cable either. So I guess I'd have to watch them on my computer. Which is totally doable now, isn't it? But no, no, no horror movies for me. Eating a sweet waffle. Oh, my friend Lee Kaiser's eating a waffle. So my friend Lee Kaiser and I love to travel. Um, and we have not, of course, been able to travel. And everybody knows the reasons why. So um, <laughs> I went to um, Publix, which is our local grocery store. I don't know where you are if you have a Publix. It's kind of, sometimes they have things that you can't find at normal grocery stores. Like, I I don't mean this in a bad way or mean to sound all bougie or anything. But they have higher class things. And they have these waffles that are prepackaged that the first time I had them, I had it in France. And oh my goodness gracious, I fell in love with it. All right, let's get back to the card for a second and I'll tell you more of my story. So that stamp came from Winter Woods, which is a beautiful stamp set. This stamp, we're going to use these little dots here from Gather Together. We're going to use Sahara Sand, but I'm going to um, stamp it off. And I don't know, Sahara Sand is a really light color, but I just kind of want a hint of dots. Not like maybe you can see the dots. I mean, that's kind of what I want it to look like. All right, so back to the waffles. <laughs> we, I am driving across France, and we stop at a 
uh, convenience store off of the Autobahn interstate. I don't even know what they call it in French. Highway. And they had these little sweet waffles. And I was like, oh, that, that looks interesting. Let, let's try that. Oh, my goodness gracious. I, I got one at every little convenience store I stopped at. They're delicious. And they have this sugar, crunchy, sugary thing on top. Oh, pearl sugar Belgian waffles. There you go. <laughs> she said, I sent you a picture, but I ate it. I'll go get one. I'll show you a picture. I'll show you what it is. Anyway, they're delicious. All right. So after that, what are we going to do? We are going to stamp our sentiment. And our sentiment does not come from a stamp set that you would think about very often but I I love it it's called see the good and I know who puts an artichoke on a card mm, and I haven't figured out how to use the artichoke yet I used the pair a couple times and it's gorgeous and it's one of the distinctive stamps so it's it's really pretty anyway so one day I'll figure out how to use the artichoke but I can't thank you enough that's the stamp we're using and we're gonna get back out our um, early espresso ink. So funny story about France as we're driving across France. This is not my friend Lee and I, it's a different friend. Um, neither one of us spoke a word of French except for maybe mercy. And I'm hoping still that that means thank you. <laughs> it does. Okay. I'm going to stamp it up cause I'm going to put some ribbon ribbon linen thread at the bottom so it's gonna be kind of at the top of this there we go can't thank you enough one of the things i like about that stamp is it's not straight so if i'm not straight it's okay i think i got it straight but just in case if you're not it's still okay so we get to um there's a lot of uh what are they called toll booths on this interstate in France. And again, I don't know what the word is in French, but there's toll booths. And we had cash, because you should have to have cash, but we had, like, big bills. We had no idea that we needed, like, change. We had no idea. We figured there'd be a person there. Hmm, no people. Just a machine. So, <laughs> we get to this toll booth speaking no French. And it won't take our money because you need to have change to throw into the little basket. And um, I'm like, I, I don't know what to do. We don't have the money to put in the thing. So there's a button that says in like 17 languages, help. And so we hit the button and somebody came on and spoke, you know, dozens of words in French or whatever. <laughs> and we just said, help. Of course, by this time, they knew we're stupid Americans. So they came to help, gave us change, threw the change in the basket, and on we went. Funny enough, the very next toll booth we came to, I don't know if they were Americans. I assume that they were. They were in front of us. I mean, I am thinking the exact same thing is happening to these people that just happened to us at the last toll booth. So I grabbed my change, got out of the car, walked up to their thing, put money in it, so, I mean, because none of us could move. So put money in the thing so they could go. I'm like, have a nice day. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. So we're going to tie linen thread around the bottom. And we're going to make a little notch down here. So look, I have ink on my fingernail. So we're going we're gonna to make a little notch down here. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to flip our cardstock over. And we're going to line it up on one of these lines on your grid paper. And a quarter of an inch up here, so one of these little um, markings here, we're going to put a little dot. No worries. First, it's on the back. Second, we're going to clip it off. So, we're going to take um, a punch that has a point. So, outro root. So, this punch has a point, you can see. You can use this punch. It has a point. It's not quite as defined, but it does have a point. The, um, this guy has a point. You could use it. It's kind of a rounded point, but it would work. 
So you're going to take a punch with a point and we're going to snip this little notch that we made. Okay. So you're going to line it up. I hope that you can see that. And we're just going to punch. See, we made a little notch right there. So now we're going to do this on the other side. Made a little notch and they're even because we measured it on the back. Okay. So then we're going to take our linen thread after we get a little bit of this on the back. And I'm actually going to run it all the way across the bottom because I'm going to need it to stick to my card when I'm done with this. So linen thread in hand and we will wrap it around. I don't know if I have any more funny stories about France. People say people in France in France are not nice to Americans, but it just depends on where you are. If you stay in the um, places where there's tourism, of course, they love anybody who's got money. So, I mean, they think Americans have money, so that's great. So I wrapped that around twice. I'm going to get my sheet so nothing so it doesn't stick to my paper silicone mat that's what it's called um i'm going to take two lengths of this fold it over anyway so i don't know about you but <laughs> did you see that it's not the end when i get these linen thread things i can almost never find the end so i make an end I take my snips and I just I figure eventually it'll all come out. I don't, I don't know. Part of me doesn't have time to figure that out. Okay, so I folded it over in half. We're going to tie a bow on here. That's a lot of thread, but it's okay. I could probably do it in threes. That would be cute. Let's do it in threes. Huh, we'll just make a fuller bow. So, um, we were, my friend Lee and I were over there in France for the Carnival, which is in February, and it must have been February before the election because the French people, one of the shop owners wanted to ask us about president, uh, uh, well then he was running for election, right? What do you think about Trump? And I'm like, I'm voting for him. I think he kind of thought I was crazy, but not so crazy anymore. Anyway, so I'm tying a bow here. Now, you, when you do this, you could tie your bow anywhere you want because you, you're in control, right? I want it right here. Um, and then I'm going to snip this. And I'm going to snip that. Hmm. I don't know if I'm digging this with the three. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Here. Okay, we're gonna make it. No, it's too much. Okay, we're going to try again. It's a live video. I'm gonna undo it and start over. What else do we do? Sometimes more is not better. In this case, it's not. Can I get this off? Can I get it untied? Hey. Got part of it untied. There's another part of it. I'll get it eventually. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's untied. Start all over again. Yeah, one of the days we went, we were at Carnival. We walked 10 miles. They do crazy things with the buses over there. They have an awesome bus system. 
But during carnival, they change everything. And of course, they don't tell all the tourists. Well, it's not that they don't tell us, but it's that we don't know. Because I don't know how mass transit works. I live in Warner Robins, Georgia. There is no mass transit. I don't know how it works. I don't have to. Anyway, we walked a lot. But walking is good. There's one little bow. Now we're gonna we're gonna do a sneak attack here. And we're gonna put a we're gonna put a glue dot under there. I didn't have to pull you. I might have pushed you, but I didn't pull you to get home. Okay, so we're gonna sneak this little glue dot right here under here. Nobody's ever gonna even gonna see it. And we're going to trim these. See why I have the silicone mat? My glue is, my card is stuck. So, put it over. We'll get some more of this on here. Pumpkin pie layer. And then we're going to add the early espresso layer. It's already scored. Probably was meant to be at a card class earlier or something. So then we'll add this on here. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot Wink Estella. Let's see if we can add it on there. Oop, is that straight? No, it's not straight. Uh oh. Can I pull it? Make it straight. Gonna be good enough. Okay, so I wanted to put just a little bit of Wink Estella right on the top of the snowbank. And it's easier if you do it before you glue it on your card. Anyway, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, champagne rhinestones are what we're going to embellish with. There they are. And they're really pretty. You can color some of them if you want. Okay, so here I colored pumpkin pie. I colored in suede, soft suede, and I colored in bronze with the blenders. So, I don't know if you can see that they're just a tiny bit different color. Just a tiny bit. But the uh, regular ones, without coloring them, but you can color them if you so choose. Um, the regular ones are really pretty on this card. So, we're just going to use them like that. I'm going to put a big one down here. And then another one right next to it. And there you go. Oh, well, wait. We have to do the inside. So I am just going to take um, the early espresso. And I'm going to stamp a tree on the inside of the card. Because you shouldn't have a naked middle. Right? So just like that. Nothing fancy. Just so it's not completely empty. And then we will add this to the inside of our card. Let's 
voila there we go there's our card that we made today I, and it's you can see it's crooked I don't know I have to figure out how to fix that so um I will be live tomorrow I do not know what card we're gonna make um I may make a tag I think what I'm gonna do is starting tomorrow I'm going to attempt very I'm going to attempt to go live every day in November and make a tag I have Quite a few that I've been playing with. Um, hang on one moment and I will show you a sneak peek if I can find them. Give me give me 30 seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know if that was 30 seconds or not, but I'm back. So, sneak peek. Here we go. I'll show you some of these. Are you ready? Are you ready? This one I had just posted, so y'all saw that one. Did you actually see how cute it is, though? Did you see I drew all these little things on there? Because the snowman is just a snowman. And then I drew all the... It's like instructions on how to do a snowman. Happy Halloween! Um, okay. Hark the Herald Angel Sing. This is just a sneak peek. We're going to go fast. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. This one's super adorable. It's the Grinch. From our home to yours. There's a poinsettia. Here's a moose. Look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? Christmas joy. Tis the reason to be freezing. Here's a gnome. I believe. I got a couple more. I don't have 30 yet. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. There's another one. So we're going to do one of these every day in the month of November. Okay? Is everybody ready for that? I need a couple more because I don't have 30 yet. But I'll get there. Okay? Hang with me during the month of November and we'll do tags. Okay? Um, thanks for watching. If you could share my video, I'd love that. Um, I will post all of the um, products used in the description when the video ends. Okay? Have a nice day. Happy Halloween. Stay safe. Rhonda just joined me. I'm I'm done. You'll have to go back and watch, Rhonda. This is what we made. Okay. See you guys later. I'll be on tomorrow.